Chrome stuff now. I'm looking at the camera. Uh, <laughs> now I'm getting creative. I'm watching that Will Smith video. We just watched the Will Smith video in Melbourne. Yeah. For what? It's yeah. Christmas, I guess. <laughs> Anyhow, that is pretty much it for uh, my video. My all-time favorite <laughs> pair of shoes, though. So I'll shout Doctors out. Doctors approach. No, they're not. Jeez, it as well. <laughs> I was like, what? Two days of this. No fix or anything. Britain has stopped. But it hasn't stopped at the front. Fireplace. Hack squat. I'm wrap again. Let's go. So 175 kilos. And the pack squats. Looking there. Carl's got no heat in his house, this is where he's warming up. Drive it, Carl, come on. Let's go. Right. Leg day is hitting me right in the feels today. <laughs> Dying, man. I'm trying to stray away from this fight day because I did it the other day as well. And I did a YouTube video on it, which I probably should. I'm pretty dying today. This will be my last session for nearly two weeks. That's fucking mental. No training for two weeks. I'm going to deteriorate. I'm already skinny. Either. I made the big mistake today of wearing short sleeves on leg day. And a great man, Steve Cook, once said, always wear long sleeves. Because you ain't got an arm pump. You've got a leg pump. So you look skinny as hell like you don't train arms. So, Be more like Cal. Cal works in one space. So I'm set, going wide foot, wide foot stance, five reps, focusing on glute and hamstring contraction, pre-fatigue, and then going close stance into five reps, focusing on quad finisher. That's fucking disgusting. A well-rounded movement on that one. And that's what you want to try. It's great for leg pump. It's great for activating every single muscle in the legs you can. Now we're on to leg press. Go heavy. And then we'll finish off some high volume. Next up is leg press. Eight to 12 reps. Pushing as heavy as we can. It's really well made in the press. So slippy. Going for 275. That's a fucking beast, man. That's fucking quads, bro. Sick. Get it. Come on, let's go. And he's eight reps, just keep pushing it. 300 next set. Oh. 
Come on, man. Come on. Good. Push, push. Go for 300. After this set, drop set. Just keep dropping until there's no weight left. Absolutely annihilate the legs. And then finish off with some bit higher volume. Let's go. Putting up six reps. 300 kilograms. Beast. Vanilla Gorilla. Let's go. Make it look easy. Nice. Let's go. Hitting more than six here. Come on, come on. Go, go. Now 20 reps, no extension, three sets straight over, hardly any rest time. Sick. Micro indoor sponsor, can't pull it. There it is. That quad guy, vanilla gorilla, the beast from the east, Callum Curry. Finish off quads and the hamstrings and calves. And we done. Last super set for legs. Hamstring curls, 10 reps. Big squeeze on that hamstring curl. Then go into this one. Cable, straight like deadlift. Push his back side, kind of get a stretch. Thrust through. It's cowl down the right now. Let's get plenty of tension on the cable. Push the hips back. Feel the stretch. Right here, thrust all the way through. Cow skips come through on this one. Straight back. There you go.
cow, this is the guy I know who has to actually roll up his leggings for this cow's brief. Look at those. So that's the leg work I've done. I've got post-workout, I've got fish in the oven. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have that and then I'm done. That was such a brutal leg workout. Like doing it with cow just fucking kills me every single time. Which is pretty amazing. That's why you need a training partner. Training partner's really important. So today's been one of them really shit days. We've had the worst weather ever in England. Snow everywhere, roads blocked. I had to call up all my clients at work today. So pretty much day off, chilling, get some stuff sorted from my clients, and then I'm done. Sit down, Netflix, chill with hair. <laughs> and then that's it, done. I'm so dying, my legs are fucking killed. Quick one, right? Have you ever been to one of those gyms that just doesn't play music? Like, you go in, there's nothing playing, you're like, is this place open? What do you do? Comment below what you do when you go in a gym that's got zero music and it just feels like a no atmosphere. Is it a headphones in job? But what happens when you're training with someone? Are you that rude person who does no head do does headphones when training with someone? Don't be that guy. Or gal. What do you do? Comment below. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, comment, and we'll see you in the next one.